What's up, y'all? Yeah, I know it's been a little bit since the last video, but, you know, been kind of busy, kind of not, it's been cold, i just been caught up in other things, I guess, I don't know. It's nothing really interesting for y'all to, to, to check out or anything, but, out here in the shop right now, as you can tell, this mess. Uh, pulled the derby motor in here from uh, this year's Mustang. Fixed the, uh, the throttle cable, I don't know how you can see, it's probably too damn dark, but reinforced the, the throttle bracket and took the choke assembly off and there's nothing left to screw with the throttle cable, so that shouldn't be a problem this year. But uh, the transmission is toast, so I've got a dilemma. What do you think I ought to do? Should I just rebuild that C3 automatic? Or should I run one of these junk ass four speed manuals? Which are exactly the same gearbox, but the bell housing's a little different and the tail shafts are a little different. Which doesn't matter about the bell bell housings because they're, you know, four two three. And the gearbox are identical, same numbers, everything, but tail shaft, this one's for a Mustang. That one's for a Pinto. But I need a shifter for that. It's, instead of the uh the screw in style, it's got a bolt in. It takes three bolts. So I need a shifter, I need a clutch, pressure plate, throwout bearing, and a flywheel to run this transmission. And uh, of course, you know, the uh, clutch cable, because it's cable driven, and the pedals for the car. I don't know. And also, I've got this, uh, what the hell is this thing? Um, a 4LD or something like that automatic four speed automatic junk out of the newer Mustang for 2-3 but I don't know I so we still got a good probably six months before I need to worry about that so yeah speaking of derbies you already know I got the one car for next year that's that motor and all is gonna go in but I happen to be working on a deal for a second car yeah, here's your little hint. What's that? Yeah, that's a Honda wheel. Working on a, doing a motor swap deal, swapping one motor to another, into another car, then I'm getting what's left of the other car. Let's see here. Get my pictures up, I'll show you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's what I'm pulling this motor out of this car. It's a 95 Accord. Motor's blown up, but got the car for a really cheap deal. And uh, the person that's wanting it has the two door version, same year, but the car is just beat to absolute hell. It's been wrecked. It's it's bad. Body wise, it's junk. So we're gonna pull the good motor and transmission out of that, put it into the four door. And basically use any other parts for the four-door to make it a real nice car. And hopefully I can get the two-door for Derby since it's not going to have a motor. And if you remember right from last year, out of my little shed, I have a complete F22 A1 with automatic transmission that came out of Project Nightmare. It's already set up, wired, and everything for Derby. So I got to just drop it in, I'm ready to go. And of course I've got everything else for that. So, hopefully that works out. We'll have two cars next year. Be really good. Also, since I've got my phone out. Uh, sad news is, that means the monster truck has to go. Yeah, the big lifted Ford. Yeah, so if you want it, let me know. It's up on Craigslist right now, so. So it's either one or the other, and I'm picking the one, the other, so. I don't want to get rid of the truck, but whatever. Ain't no big deal to me. So, yeah. Yeah. I've been working on doing the motor swap, getting the, other, getting the four door ready to pull the motor out. It's probably about 80% ready, 80, 90%, give or take, before I can pull the motor out. And then once the other car gets here, because it's still being driven, even though the front end's totaled on it, uh, I'll start pulling that motor out and get the motor down in the four door. Get that all buttoned up and then hopefully I'll have a video on that. So yeah. 
Yeah. Can't wait for that one. That's going to be a good car. That's solid. Other than that, it's got a lot of hell damage and kind of wrecked in the front end, but ain't no big deal. Ain't going to hurt it none. Not for Derby, anyway. Uh, this thing, I'm debating on if I want to swap another motor on it. Uh, you can't really see it too well, but it is leaking oil. The uh, the lower seal, crankcase seal, is about shot. The thing's got a little bit of a knock to it, but I don't really care. I'm just going to probably just run until it blows, really. But, but as you can tell over here, my horde of engines, I'm starting to accumulate. Thinking about putting this beast on it. Yeah, 20 horse Intec V-Twin Briggs. Yeah. We might put that on there. I'm not sure yet. And of course, I got the derby motor on the for the derby mower. I still gotta go through and pull the valves out and grind them down because they're somehow they've grown. And that's why the engine doesn't run because the valves don't shut all the way. Uh, the two, this one was on that one snapper I stripped down that I'd gotten on that rat rod deal. I pulled the carburetor off and swapped it with this other engine. This engine did run. But the, the rings are shot and the cylinder wall is scored up real bad so it needs to be completely rebuilt. So um, this engine runs good. I haven't fired it with the new carburetor. It's got a new fuel line now. It should be good to go. Yeah, I've got two other eight horses back there. They're basically uh, short blocks. And that 16 horse twin cylinder flathead Briggs, which I haven't done nothing with in the last, oh, four years I've owned it. Three or four years. Yeah, that'd be up for sale too if anyone wants that. Yeah, and I got a couple of derby carburetors and this old Craftsman here. I'm still debating on what I'm gonna do with this thing. I mean, this tractor is just too damn nice. I don't know what the hell I want to do with it. I put a battery on it though. What does that thing purr? Cold natured. Oof. Yeah, 14 horse Kohler Command. Thing runs like mint. It actually, once I cleaned it, it actually cleaned up really nice. Looked like new. Yeah, I got a car battery out for now, just for fun. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing yet. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this other tractor either. Have no idea, you know, what I'm gonna do with it. Let me know what you think I'll do with that tractor and the Craftsman too. What I should do with them. Uh, the snapper, I'm probably gonna either, of course, this snapper over here, I put a tie rod on it, but I'm probably still gonna part this one out because the frame's bent real bad. It's got a 14 horse uh, overhead valve Briggs on it. Runs good, so I'm thinking about putting that motor on that snapper over here and putting it up for sale next year. That's all it needs. The motor needs to be rebuilt on it. So either that or one of the uh, eight horses. Stick an eight horse on it. Uh, let's see. Think about digging this thing out and working on it a bit. Doing something with it. Don't know yet. I might just uh, uh, might turn into a cage mower. And run cage mowers again next year. But yeah, let me know about that one. If you want to see a cage mower build. So yeah. It's either that or either continue to run stock class with it. But I'm thinking about running cage mower. That way I can run more locally. I'm going to have to worry about making the uh, hour and a half or the two and a half hour trip up to Terre Haute and whatnot to run up there. At least with the, the basic cage mower. I guess what they call them, pro mods or something like that, mod mower, whatever the hell they call them down here, cage mower. Uh, I could run them around my area, so yeah. I don't think you can see it, but yeah, it's cold. Yeah. Uh, the wood stove does great. Unfortunately, as you can tell, I have no wood. Yeah, a stove, a wood stove only works as good as, as the amount of wood you have for it. And I am out. So that means I gotta get some wood soon. Yeah. 
And of course the old hot rod mower got the snow plow on it. Snow plow works great. Put a little weight box on the back of it so I can put more weight on it, whatnot if I need. Awesome tractor. Best bang for the buck. It's going to need a muffler soon. The muffler's starting to blow out, but who cares? You don't need a muffler. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I just let you know what I've been up to and whatnot. It's just been it's just been too cold to really do anything. I just haven't been motivated lately and it's the off season, you know. I'm lazy. <laughs> It's just too damn cold, really. Yeah. I'll give you another update, hopefully, here soon, in the next few days. Hopefully, I get that car, and... Yeah, we'll start preparing for next year. Also, uh... I'm awaiting the, uh, the rule changes for next year, because we're going to have a new promoter. Because the promoter we were running, H&J Motorsports, they have retired this year. So they are no longer around. So now it's we're having a new promoter. We don't know. Nobody knows what the hell's going on. We don't know what the rules are going to be like. And I'm hoping the mini cars are going to stay old school. It's a five foot, like everywhere else is going. Because if it goes to five foot rule, I'm retiring. I'm done. I'm not building one. That'd be the end of my derby season. My you know my derby career. But during old school, I'm going to get one last big year in. Hopefully next year, with two cars and all that. And then I'm gonna retire after then, because I just I can't keep doing it. My back's starting to hurt real bad, and every day my lower back's hurting me. So, you know, I've been doing it for over 12 years now. Then I take a little break and get my health back, and whatnot. But you never know. Maybe next year be better, and I might do a lot better, motivate me to run another year or something. I don't know. But yeah. All right, this video's long enough, so. I'm going to hop off here, probably tinker with something, probably put them transmissions back up on the shelf, because there ain't nothing I can do right now with those, so, yeah, until the next one, later y'all.